All right. Let's see. Is, yeah, that's good. All right. Hello, YouTubers. Um, this is Confluence on Twenty Eight Corey, and I want to show off my cool new Microman hack. I've managed to manipulate the um, tiles setup and the object code by a hex editor. It is very tedious and frustrating. And if anyone requests, I'll probably try and make a how-to video on how to tweak the levels. So here we go. I'm going to show off what this is so far. Let's see, is it going to go? There it goes. All right, it starts off. Ah, God, this is a little tedious. Let me kill this guy off. Right, anyway, as it starts off, um, you're in, already in a boss fight, and I stole this um, boss object code from, well, I didn't steal it necessarily, I just borrowed it from Ad Microman Adventure 2. It's the boss with the two blue arms on it that charges at you, and I changed the sprite to the little missile sprite by the hex editor, and if you're wondering what the gibberish shows up the top with the disappearing tile, um, that's the leftover disappearing block from the first room that I didn't know what to do with, and the platform code that was there is still there, but the platform's like off and disappeared somehow. Now I'm going to using my cheats. There we go. And this room data I took from Advent Microman Adventure 2, and I added the ladder because it's just tedious editing this in a hex editor. And as you can see, probably down the lower left, there's still some tile errors because it used a different tile set with all the stones and um, savage stone-based enemy and object code setup. Now this room I pretty much modified. I made it much taller and made a little puzzle. you got to be standing and you jump and then you go on the springboard and you go on the other springboard and let me kill this guy off. God, I'm dropping frames so badly. Now, this one I'm not so sure about. I might want to remove that monster because um, I actually took that code from the Adventure 2 one, which is this um, red piranha flower, looks like, from Super Mario Brothers. And it um, moves back and forth and shoots guided missiles at you. And this uses the um, boss tank sprite. And I don't know how to change the sprite. I've tried every little hex value there is for the object code, and it either results in the game crashing or doing something else entirely. So what I've ended up doing is just leaving it as is. And this simply trail puts you back up to the top. Then you climb the ladder, and I've added and made this much more complicated. If you see the magnet up at the top, I shouldn't be pointing because I'm doing a screen capture. I keep forgetting. Um, this magnet will actually pull you right off at the top, and um, yeah, you'll actually get in, it'll actually get you in the kind of trouble. And um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is, oops, and see, I fell right down. And this, you just jump up. Actually, activate. Well, anyway, um, you just jump up, 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 and up, and up, and you'll eventually get up to here. And see, the magnet will be pulling on you and knock you off. And if you go up here, I've done, really done nothing much to you per, per se, but added a bunch of tiles. Now this room, I've pretty much removed that little upper layer that was there when you access that hidden staircase. Now this you can simply just add, get the fan shots. And I haven't done much with this and I still gotta fix this one up. And down below here, <coughs> I've stolen this room code from, well, borrowed this room code from Adventure 2, the beginning room, and I've pretty much edited it. And I wanna change the sprite because I don't like this little robot machine going back and forth. It'd just be better if it was something else. I don't know what I could use though. Because it's actually supposed to be jagged rocks that would come down and hit Microman in Venture 2. And um, I better start over. Yes, I want to start a new game. And I wanted to show you guys the... Um... God, this is so tedious.
And I wanted to show you guys, let's see, let me get to it first. I wanted to show you guys the room down here. Now this I took from the original playable demo demonstrating um, his, um, Goebel's Windows animation package stuff. As you can see, I haven't done much with the room since. It still has the original um, wall mount bullet things. And this is pretty much about it. I'm still working on it. I don't know. I'm not really dedicated to it per se because I'm just too frustrated. I'm mean, looking for people online to see if they can know anything about some basic hex editing and some programming. But I haven't gotten any luck since. One guy said I should write a plugin for his little Java application, but I'm no whiz with Java. Even though my username is Compos128, but... Well, this is pretty much about it. So, if... Yeah, thanks for watching this. Um, this is my cool little hack if you want me to make a how-to video on how to make your own little levels and tweak them. Um, I'll probably have to... Um, yeah, I, I'll do it. One thing I ask of you is you can see if you can find somebody who'd be willing to write an application that could manipulate the maps in this game. I don't know if Gobel would be too happy with me dicing up some of this code and checking it out. But I do know that editing the rooms is possible in the new Hipsoft version, um, the Adventure series, and the original playable demo. But with the um, crazy computers, the Hipsoft one, um, you have to you have to download um, a third-party resource editor to get to the um, level data. And in, I don't know if it works the same way or not, but I haven't really checked it out. So, yeah, that's all I have to say today. Um, thanks for watching.